So basically the lesson was pretty pretty insightful. I would say I learned a lot from Jeff Salsa's team, I have to say. He corrected a lot of the things that I will be showing you guys in the video. Um, he helped me with uh, surf pronation. And take in mind, this lesson was about uh, two years ago. I made a video of it, but it wasn't, uh, it, wasn't it wasn't titled very well. So this one, this one should be a little bit better. But uh, yeah, basically he helped me with uh, pronation from here to here, keeping the body sideways and really exaggerating this part like this to have the strings go whoop, almost like this, the opposite of what you would think, where the strings face the side fence. And um, yeah, I just remember doing a lot of side bending, not rotating all the way through. Uh, timing of the surf, what kind of rhythm to have maybe go like toss, load, hit, whereas everything happens in one motion as you toss, so as you're tossing you're bending and then you're hitting. Um, he mentioned good things about my toss, he mentioned a lot of things that now that as I go back and check are very uh, very very helpful and uh, this lesson I actually think was worth the money this one was uh, I know I, I put a video about Rick Macy and how it was $800 for the lesson and I didn't think it was worth that much money but this one I felt like was worth the, the $400 that I paid for because I never heard of a coach talk about a lot of this stuff the way he described it so you know just a, just a thought I would just like to say I would highly recommend getting a lesson with uh, Jeff Salsasin. He's uh, he works very hard on what he does. Um, what can I say? He's been doing YouTube for a long time. I think he has over a hundred thousand subscribers, and uh, he's a good guy. He means well. He means well. I I think I drove. Um, we took a flight. We took a flight to Denver, Colorado. Me and my my friend Paris, Paris and I, and then. Uh, we rented a car and drove to, to Denver. And uh, it was a nice experience. I got to sightsee a little bit and obviously I, I was able to take two lessons from him. One of the biggest things that Jeff would emphasize on me was about the shoulder turn. How when I took a video from behind and I sent it to him that I looked like this and he was very big on having a massive shoulder turn just like Sampras and Roger. How when they, when they get into their trophy position, their body's pretty coiled. Hips too, but more shoulders. That your first move should be a big shoulder turn. And that, always, uh, that one always stuck with me. Another one was about tempo. So sometimes there's more than one tempo when you surf. So you can do like this. You can toss, toss, load, hit but for me it works better to go toss bend toss bend at the same time and hit it's just easier to, to time the moving pieces so I should move like one and then two and that that can make it very easy to get your weight going forward uh, at first the, the timing may struggle but when you when you when you when it clicks when it makes sense it's pretty insightful pretty uh, you get a lot of easy juice when it connects, body doesn't have to think about it too hard because it's just bam, bam. It's just one, two, and the tempo is simple. All right, so the next one is loading the back leg. So I feel like um, you can load the back leg a lot better. I feel like when you get and you load into your trophy, right away you come up on your toe instead of being able to really drive off of the midfoot. So when you when you bend, you should be able to really bend this knee if you want, and the heel will come slightly up. I think that again could be ankle flexibility. I'm going to give you exercises in the app um, to check out, but you can traction your ankle and you can work on your range of motion of your ankle as well. So that's another thing to work on. Tempo. In this video, I'll show it lefty. I, I, would, I don't know if this is gonna work or not, but what I would play around with is seeing if you can get to the trophy position a little faster. 
So when you release the ball, instead of having the racket kind of hang down here, you're going to you're going to be here, but you're going to try to get it up where it almost slows and gathers momentum. Or I shouldn't say gathers momentum, but maybe the momentum slows a little bit before you fire again. I think there's two different tempos on the serve. You can go slow, go, or you can go fast, slow, go, depending on what feels right. And for you, I'd be curious to see if you get to this power position a little bit better. You're going to have to work on feeling like the elbow and the hand are way higher than you think because you're a little bit down here. I think this is limiting your power. Another thing that we want to check out is your side bend. So to be able to side bend like this, you want to be able to get here and get lots of range of motion. So you want to really improve how you can open up the sides of your body and you want to be able to rotate your body. Tennis is a rotation sport. So again, I'll give you exercises that can help with those. Freeze, please. Yep. Now I will show you guys some of the clips from the uh, from our lesson. Hope you enjoy. Guys, I hope you guys like this valuable info. Um, please like and subscribe. And then after you do that, like and subscribe again. And like it again. I'm happy to make these videos and I will be seeing you guys in the next video coming through. Peace.